pleasant, gentle peat smoke. Yes. Welcome to Whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of Whiskey.com. And today we have a special bottling of the Tomintal Whiskey Distillery. And it's called the Petey Tang. And uh, this is a very special bottle of Tomintal because Tomintal typically bottles unpeated, unsmoky whiskey. And... Uh, it's called the Gentle Dram, and the taste of Tomitao is really smooth and balanced and easygoing. Um, I think I had a few of Tomitao already. And then there is the, the Piti, the smoky side of Tomitao, and they are typically bottled uh, under the name of Old Belantron. And there's an old Belantron without an age statement and a 10 years old on the market. And I think one of those is already also bottled at 55% ABV. So this is the rush and hard side of Tomintal. And this one is in between. Uh, it's a Tomintal, but pity. The gentle drum with a pity tang. Tang. And gentle, well, <laughs> uh, tang means penetrant, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and here you see uh, Speyside Glenlivet. So this is the the old times when Glenlivet, the valley of the River Livet, uh, gave the name to the Glenlivet Distillery, and this famous distillery spread its name around the valley of the Livet, and everybody liked to, to add Glenlivet uh, to its name. So there you find Speyside Glenlivet. Tomintal, Tomintal. Mm -hmm. The Tomintal single malt whiskey is a testament to our master distiller Robert Fleming, whose family has been making whiskey in the Speyside Glenlivet region for four generations. Color rich gold, it's a green bottle. Heathery smoke balanced with subtle floral notes. Palette gentle peat rake flavors with a hint of malty nuttiness. Finish lingering smoke and peat with a touch of sweetness. After years of searching for the purest natural water in Scotland, we discovered the Belantron Spring. From this, the Belantron, old Belantron, received its name. For millions of years, this water has been flowing through the mountainside near Tomital, the highest village in the Highlands. In the heart of the Space High Glenlivet region, the Tomital distillery was built to capture this unique resource. And uh, typically, there is a distillery out in the uh, in Scotland, which claims to be the highest located distillery in Scotland and sells an awful lot, awful lot of whiskey uh, with an age of 15 years, probably you know which uh, is meant. And uh, the Tomital Sea lies even higher. Uh, we went up there in oh, 10 years ago and we had two foot of fresh snow. Wow! <laughs> and summer tires on the car. So, and there's a miniature of this bottle, so I do not have to, to open a full bottle and save some money. <clears throat> yeah, the same as written on. 40% ABV. There's a fire burning somewhere. Yeah. Oh, ha ha. It's a wonderful, pleasant, gentle peat smoke. Yes. It's not that bonfire, it's not that medicinal, phenolic 
taste or smell is a wonderful, pleasant peat smoke. So this one is a whiskey for a, well, if you do not, if you haven't any uh, smoky whiskey yet, then this one would be the first to start with because it's so pleasant on the nose. And there are some well, floral aromas in it. There's not, no, not the typical fruitiness or the vanilla and caramel. No, there's the fresh peat smoke and those floral notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little oily, yes. And now the, the smoke is covering my mouth. So this is definitely the last one today. And maltiness is there. And a little nuttiness, walnuts. I don't like walnuts, but here uh, it's cooked walnuts. Yeah. Not that sharp. And the smoke stays on. Yeah. Mm. Heavy. So the ah, the floral aroma is strong. There's a professor who uh, investigated the olfactory behavior of our brain. He's lecturing in East Germany in the city of Dresden and he found out that if you swallow a food then the aroma is coming up the back to your nose to these thousands and millions of receptors in your nose then the brain says you have swallowed that and this had to be good because you swallowed and therefore, I give you a more intense and a more pleasant feeling about the, the well, swallowed food. And here, after the first swallowing, you should definitely nose on the whiskey. Because now your brain is rewarding you. <laughs> That's not really true. <laughs> uh, it's a, well, it's faking you. But it's wonderful, a wonderful feeling. Yeah. How much peat is it is in it? So I would say fifty to twenty, maximum twenty five ppm. So it's not that intense as the whiskey is in on Isla, but it's it's definitely more than other slightly peated whiskies in the islands. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come and feel free to share this video.